Now we are going to do next chapter that is work, energy and power. So, see here in this chapter we will be studying different kinds of energy, different kinds of work done that means positive and negative power and collision conservation of energy. So, let us take first topic of this chapter that is here the dot product of two vectors, dot product of two vectors. Suppose you have taken vector A and vector B dot vector P that is written magnitude of the vector A, magnitude of the vector B and cos theta. So, dot product of two vector is actually equal to is the product of the magnitude of the vector A and the magnitude of the vector B and cosine of this smaller angle between the vector A and vector B. So, this can be written here A B cos theta and this is a scalar quantity here. So, the dot product of two vector is a scalar. So, now we can see it is a geometrical interpretation. Suppose you have got vector A here and vector B to this side. Now, this angle is theta. We draw a perpendicular over here and we take projection of B onto vector A. So, that will be here B cos theta. So, projection of vector B on vector A is B cos theta. Similarly, we can take vector A and vector B this is theta and we draw perpendicular here. So, projection of vector B along uh, projection, projection of vector A along vector B can be written here A cos theta. So, dot product of two vector is actually defined as the product of the magnitude of the vector A, the product of the magnitude of the one vector and the magnitude of the component of the other vector along the vector 1. So, A is the magnitude of the vector A, B cos theta is the magnitude of the vector magnitude of the component of vector B along the vector A. So, this is about the dot product of two vectors. Now, see there are many quantities which are represented as the dot product of two vector. First one we can write the work, work is equal to vector f dot vector s that is displacement. This is written here f s cos theta. This is one example where we use dot product. Another example uh, we use here the power, power is equal to force dot velocity that is here f v cos theta. So, here the two quantity we are taking as a dot product of the two vectors work is also a scalar quantity and power is also a scalar quantity.